Hey guys, it's Jen and I am here to show you, sorry about that zoom issue there. Um, I have a new process video for Freckled Fawn today and I'm using the August kit which is full of awesome things. I did an unboxing video on my channel if you want to check it out. The kit itself is sold out but you can get most of the products on their own. Um, so you can check out which products appeal to you. Today I'm going to be scrapbooking these two photos and this is from a little weekend trip to Midway, Utah I, that I took with my, my bestie. And these two photos are funny because we love going to like thrift shops and bookstores and stuff like that and so that's a lot of what we did while we were up there. And so this photo is from a bookstore and this photo is from a um, like an antique store and both of them had little animals just sitting there um, this one has a, a little pug and I can't remember his name which is going to drive me crazy but this little cat's name was Molly and they just kind of added to the charm of the place which I'm not a huge animal person so you wouldn't think that but they just really did and and it was cute so I wanted to talk about that here and so I'm using some papers um, from Jen had filled the simple life as well as my mind's eye in bloom. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to use yet, but kind of what I was thinking was to go with kind of the wood grain and then add in some florals. And I was thinking about hand cutting some of these to put on this background and then adding in the florals that are in the epoxy stickers here and then maybe some of the wood pieces. I haven't decided yet. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to add in were some of the doilies and probably the white ones because they stand out the best against the background and I really like that color. Um, but we'll see if I end up adding other colors as I go along. But for now that's the plan. I also have this little white doily that was in the kit as well. So if I want to add that in. Um, and then a few of these stickers will probably make it on wherever you go becomes a part of you somehow. I really like that one. Um, and so these are about adventures, but um, I think you can have everyday adventures. And I just want to explore is another one that I really love here. So I'm thinking about putting these, these are clear stickers, but I'm thinking of putting them on white cardstock and punching them out or something. So we'll see how that goes. And I'm going to put you on fast forward and talk you through my process here. Okay, so I'm going to start by putting a white photo mat on my photos. I printed these at 3 by 4 and so I'm just using some cardstock, some white cardstock to mat those. And I have, I'm showing you right there, I have these papers that I got at Michael's. They have packages and they're just, one. I think one of them's around 4 by 8 and then the other one is like four and a half by six and a half and they're good for matting photos and I love having those and I also use them in my typewriter as well. So um, I'm trying to decide now what floral piece I want to use and what I'm going to do is use my close to my heart uh, sharp scissors. I can't remember what they're called. Fine tip scissors. Uh, and I'm going to hand cut this out and I'm just leaving the slightest amount of border. I'm going to save you from watching me cut that um, because it took a little while and I love doing, I love fussy cutting. I love doing little jobs like that. And so um, the bottom was, it came to the edge of the paper and so it was cut off weird. And so I just trimmed it so it looked like it could keep going. Um, and then I'm going to trim another piece that I can use on the other side. So I wanted to use two pieces and kind of frame the photos with it a little bit. So I'm going to trim this piece out and I'm using an X-Acto knife to cut in the middle of the of the pieces there um, just because it's easier than using my scissors and I wanted to show you that. So here I have them both cut out and I kind of arranged and I put one at the top and one at the bottom-ish and now I'm seeing if those epoxy stickers are going to mix in well with those and I kind of decide that they don't but I will come back to the wood pieces that are similar. So I'm cutting one of the doilies in half. I'm going to put some of it above and below my photos and then I'm going to mix a couple of other ones in throughout the layout and I'm also going to use the little metal doily as well and I just it was a like a charm and so I just cut the charm off using my Tim Holtz scissors. They'll cut through anything. So now I'm looking at the other doilies trying to see what I want to use here and I'm just going to use the white ones and here's where I take those kind of travel themed clear stickers and I'm going to place them on some white cardstock. I'm using the same sheets of cardstock that I mentioned I get at Michael's in the packages. They just work perfectly for little uh, jobs like this and I'm going to punch them out. So I have a one inch circle punch and it's a little too small so I grab a one and a quarter inch circle punch for the two smaller ones and I decide to go with the quotes that are in hearts and so I have 
uh, two of the smaller hearts and then one of the larger ones and I don't have a punch that fits that so what I'm doing right now while I'm just off camera here is going to get my big shot and a die and so I'm just going to punch it out with a die and I don't have just the right size I wish I had a size in between the two that I have uh, but it's going to be good enough and I'm just going to tape it on to my cardstock so that it stays in place where I want it just using some washi tape uh, and then run it through my big shot real quick. So it just took some, took me a second. And if I would have thought about it, I forgot that I have my little diamond press die cutting machine on my desk, which was stupid of me, but that's okay. Uh, maybe it was too big for that. I can't remember if I even checked. <laughs> uh, now I'm going to look through some of some embellishments to see if what I might be able to add here. I thought I might add some of those puffy stickers from Maggie Holmes, but I decide not to. I just wanted to look at them because they're new. <laughs> um, and so I'm going to kind of play around with my, where I'm going to place everything on the layout now. And I'm going to start adhering things down. Now I'm looking for something now, my alphabets, these white alphabets that came in, a, well the white ones didn't come in a previous kit, but the yellow ones did. And they are a puffy letter sticker that's handwritten by me. The freckled fawn ones are anyway. And then I also pulled out these Felicity Jane ones because I thought maybe I would want to use two different sizes of word in my title. And so um, I'm thinking about using both of those. And sorry, because my light is blowing out the color here because uh, they're so white. But I've got some wax paper here. And what I want my title to be is the comfort of exploring. And so I'm just writing out the word exploring with these alphabet stickers that are, these are chipboard alphabet stickers from Felicity Jane. And then for the comfort of, I'm going to use these smaller puffy stickers that I mentioned earlier that are from Freckled Fawn. And what I'm trying to do is make it so that the parts of the letters that dip down go into the spaces where the word exploring has spaces. So like where that L is, the, the dip of the M goes in there and um, the F doesn't, but that's okay. And I will have the F of the word of right here going down into the N. So com the comforts of exploring. And I just wanted to talk about how cozy and comfortable and how it's like one of the things that brings me peace is going on these little like exploring through a bookstore or an antique store with with my friend. So uh, I'm going to get everything started adhere adhere down now I'm going to get started adhering everything down goodness I can't speak uh, and I'm going to start with my florals and I'm leaving I'm just doing the edges and I'm leaving the other ones or like the leaves and stuff uh, pretty much unadhered just so that I can tuck things into them like my photos so I'm making it so that my photos touch both of the photo clusters and that helps to tie everything together and I'm just making sure that I adhere them in a way that they overlap, but not so they're not covering anything important. And so here's where I'm trying to decide if I want to put my title on the bottom or if I'm going to put it at the top. And I kind of like the way the word exploring kind of fits in between those two floral pieces there. So I'll end up putting it at the top. And then because there's a space between my, my title and my photos, I'll put my journaling in between. So I'm cutting up cutting in half those doilies and I'm placing them all around the layout. I decided to use uh, a couple of different kinds and I'm just putting a little bit of adhesive on them. You can't really see the adhesive through them if you use a tape runner that's solid like I am here. And that, the one I'm using is from Thermal Web. And, um, but I mostly put the adhesive where it would be hidden, except for that one at the top that can't be hidden. So I'm squishing my letters together a little bit more so that the E in exploring doesn't get covered too much. I want you to still be able to read what it says. And even though it is pretty covered up, you can tell that it says exploring. So I cut off the little tail of the O for the word of because the letters nestled together better with it gone. And now I'm just placing down the rest of, of the letters there resting on top of the word exploring. And I love these alphabet stickers. And if you haven't seen the sneaks for next month's kit, which is the September kit, we're getting black ones. And I'm so excited. Next month's kit is all black and white. So that's really fun. I can't wait to use that kit.
So now I'm going to use these circles that I punched and die cut out with those cute quotes on them from the clear stickers. I'm going to pop them up on foam squares and I'm going to place them next to the doilies. So the doilies are a circular element and then here's another circular element. And this is really the only... This page is mostly neutrals, but there's a little pop of color in the kind of scribbly outline of the hearts, which is hard to see because of the glare of my lights, and I apologize for that, but you'll see in the close-up photos at the end. Um, and then I'm also going to put, um, in, at the end, I'll put some of the enamel hearts on there, and that's gonna be really the only pop of color. I decide to put that metal doily in the center uh, cluster and then I'm also going to rip some washi tape and place it underneath and above the photos and I love this washi tape it's so pretty it's a wood grain and I kind of like the wood grain on top of the wood grain they're two different kinds of wood grain and one has got the metallic shimmer the washi tape does and so I really like the way that those kind of look together and it's like I mentioned this page is mostly neutrals and I think that it works when you have a bunch of neutrals to mix up the kind of patterns that you have on them um, and I like that so here's where I'm going to come back to these wood pieces and this is what I decide to use to mix into these clusters rather than those stickers and because I decide to use the wood pieces and I want the the circles with the quotes on them to kind of uh, I want them to layer underneath those I decide to put another layer of foam squares underneath my circles so that they were a little bit taller. So I could have used regular foam squares. The ones I'm using are thin, but since I already had them on there, I just doubled them up and now the wood has space to rest underneath them. And so I'm putting a floral cluster in each one of my kind of circular clusters that I've got going on. And um, the larger one at the bottom in between the two photos and then two smaller ones with the others. And I really like the way this looks. The wood it's another textural element, but it's not adding more color. And so I feel like this layout's getting pretty busy with all the florals that are going on and the different things, but I think it works because it's so neutral. And so I really like that. So I went to my typewriter and I typed up all my journaling and I'm just cutting it into strips here. And I'm going to place these strips underneath my my title area and in between my title and my photos and I'm just going to kind of um, layer those up and I'm just cutting off the ends where there's a little bit of extra white space on the edges of my journaling and I will get those adhered down in that space and I really like the way that it fills up that that area and that's a great way to do journaling is doing strips like this because you can kind of manipulate them and play with them until they fit the space that you need. I could have handwritten in white on the background too. That probably would have worked. But sometimes I just like the clean look of the typed journaling. So that's what I'm doing here. And whenever I do typewritten journaling on little strips like this, I use my Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive in a fine line bottle. And you can get those bottles empty and put whatever glue you like in them. And I, I really like the thin uh, tip for the applicator that and it works really well for journaling strips like this so I'm just kind of gluing them pretty close together just leaving the tiniest bit of space in between so you know that that um, background paper is still behind it uh, and I'm going to make it so that some of these strips uh, layer in with the leaves of the floral pieces that I cut and you'll see that here some overlap the top of it and some are going to go underneath it so I cut one strip that's going to go on either side of that leaf right there that I'm gluing down now and then this last one will kind of go on top of it um, and so I like the way that it kind of when you do things like that it just helps things it helps the layout feel like it all goes together like it's a little bit more cohesive and like things belong there so I'm happy with the way that's looking. I'm trying to decide now if I want to add anything else. And this is where I decide that I'm going to add in those little hearts. And I decide that I want kind of soft colors here and I'm trying to figure out which colors I want where. And I'm pretty much gonna go with this configuration here with the light pink, the light orange, and that kind of aqua color. And that's going to be all of the color on my layout really. I'm just going to stamp the date in white and I will stamp it at the top and at the bottom. Uh, I was just testing it there underneath the photo. I'm going to stamp it at the top and the bottom because it's kind of light. I wanted to make sure it was in more than one place uh, just so that you made sure you knew when the date was. 
And that is going to finish this one up. I hope that you've enjoyed. I hope that you'll check out the elements from this kit in the Freckled Fawn Shop. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.